Hey guys, it's Chris. From a bird that can mimic just about every sound it hears to the dance moves of a certain insect. Join me as I reveal eight of the strangest communication methods in nature. Number eight, the lyrebird. If you're looking for an avian creature with a really unique call, then you need look no further than the lyrebird. This bird named after the musical instrument can be found in Australia, and there are two different species of it actually. This bird has an amazing talent. It's adapted to be able to mimic the sounds of just about anything it hears. So how does that work exactly? Well, it's because the lyrebird has a very complex set of vocal cords. Think about how you do certain things with your throat. You can raise or lower the pitch or tone of your voice, and that's how impressions or human sound effects are done in the world of voiceover. And the lyrebird can do that to a level that's honestly not seen in the wild or really even anywhere else. Their mimicry is so detailed and special that it can mimic the sounds of chainsaws, car engines, barking dogs, and even human voices. It also goes to reason that nearby animal calls can also be mimicked by the lyrebird. All of this begs the question of what does the lyrebird use this adaption for? And they use it to make unique mating calls for those they're trying to impress, which most definitely makes it one of the most unique mating calls ever conceived by nature. And obviously it works. The mystery remains though as to how this bird evolved to be so talented. Number 7. Bees Bees use a very advanced form of communication to relay all kinds of things to each other that they would consider important, such as a field that's ripe for pollinating. But they don't do it with sounds, smells, or by touching each other either. They actually communicate through dance. Known as the waggle dance, they'll do deep-rooted choreography in order to guide their fellow bees to where they need to go. This is something that's specifically tied to the bees in terms of communication. As scientists have noted, the fact that bees are able to do this kind of communication in this fashion and that it works is rather remarkable. Just as remarkable, they're able to divide their waggle dance into two sections to determine distance, called the round dance for shorter distance and the waggle dance for longer ones. The waggle dance is so unique in terms of a communication method that there are some scientists out there who don't believe that this is actually a thing. And it's not exactly hard to see why they think this. It's very odd that a species would be able to understand a dance motion as a method of communication, such as if disco dancing were a way to speak languages just by how you did the motions to the song you're listening to. Either way though, it does work for the bees, and at the end of the day that's all that really matters. Number 6. Doles if you're not familiar with that term, a dole is an Asiatic wild dog. They look like dogs, but they also look a little like foxes and are believed to be a hybrid of them created over time. Like many dogs and foxes, they live in packs of up to 12 at a time. They're also some of the most adaptable and resilient creatures on the planet. They're able to live in virtually any biome, including in the mountain ranges of the Alpines. And to communicate with each other, they whistle. And by whistling, I do actually mean that literally. But it's much more complex than you might think. They have a deep set of whistle calls that allow them to express all kinds of different things and do it at a pitch that shouldn't be possible for the creatures. Not to mention, no one really knows how they whistle, they just do. They can also do clucks and shrieks should the need arise. One of the biggest theories behind why the doles do this is because of range. Mainly, they like to live in areas that can be 35 square miles at times, and so they need a call that can be heard from a long way away. And they use the calls not just to communicate, but also to organize attacks on prey. And now for number five, but first be sure to subscribe to World List if you're new here. Number five, rhinos. Rhinos are a very precious thing in the animal world, and they're a species that are in the process of being protected from poachers due to their ivory horns. But while the rhinoceros is one of the strongest animals in the world, especially when they're in a charging state, they're also one animal that has terrible eyesight, which is why they run in a straight line most of the time and not curve to avoid objects. To compensate, they use their powerful noses to get information from the world, including by smelling the dung of their fellow rhinos. And I'm not making this up. While many would view dung sniffing as vile like I do, the rhinos of the world use it to discern many things about the area they're in, and even the other rhinos that are around. 
Rhinos will use their own dung to mark territory, as well as kind of leave a status update in regards to their health and what they've been eating and more. They even make piles of the dung called middens in order for many rhinos to come and sniff and get the information that they need. Number 4. Gorillas When it comes to many species of primates, gorillas are considered one of the closest relatives to humans that we have on Earth, mainly because they do many things that humans do, including working together and using tools. But apparently, some gorillas can also hum. Now, there are several interesting things about this, not the least of which is that this appears to be an adaption of captive gorillas and not wild ones. Secondly, the hum is heard only during mealtime and is considered a dinner call by some to let other gorillas know that it's time to eat. This is apparently also very attractive to female gorillas, who apparently love it when the males hum, which makes it even more odd that it doesn't happen in the wild. Though it's speculated that the captive gorillas know they're safe from outside predators, while wild gorillas are always on guard for threats. Further research into this has shown that sometimes the gorillas will hum when they're just happy and keep the tune going for a good amount of time. Number 3. Tarsiers In terms of age, the tarsiers are one of the oldest primate species on Earth, which may surprise you given that they're only about 5 inches tall, way smaller than most other primate species around. The bug-eyed tarsiers are among the smallest of the bunch and have massive eyes that make you question body proportion. A big question for a long time though was how the tarsiers actually talked to one another, as they didn't make sounds when people were around, nor could they be heard among the other calls of animals. And it turned out we just weren't listening hard enough, because the tarsiers have a way of communicating through ultrasound. Yeah, really. They communicate via a pitch that's beyond the human range of hearing. They can talk at 70 kilohertz and even up to 91 kilohertz at times. And the only reason we even discovered this was because of bats, as humans in the area were using a bat detector in regard to an ultrasound device to study them. And that picked up the chatter from the tarsiers. So they may look quiet, but they're actually putting out a lot of noise. And after some research, scientists have actually been able to reproduce the sounds in a way that humans can hear them. It just takes them slowing the sound down by a factor of eight. Number two, bears. Bears are by and large one of the most intimidating creatures on the planet, especially when they're in a rage. And they're smart. Many have noted that they have their own peculiar behaviors that were seemingly unexplained. Such as if you watched the Jungle Book and saw that Baloo liked to scratch his back, and then you'll see another bear in the wild do the exact same thing. Well, it turns out that's one of the ways they communicate with the world around them. Because they're not trying to scratch an itch they can't reach. They're using the motion to transfer their hair and scent and scratches onto the tree in order to help mark their territory. Because a bear track isn't something you're likely miss. This goes beyond territorial battles though, although the signals are meant for that too. It's also meant to show the hierarchy of the land, in terms of bears and their status within a pack. Or it goes to their experience, so that younger bears don't get any bright ideas in regards to challenging them. And to help change things up, there are other species of bear that use their own urine, and that helps get the message across that the territory you're in is theirs. Basically, they're using their body in any way they see fit to make sure that you see or smell that you're in bear country. Number 1. Bison Now you may look at a bison pack and think that they're dumb animals, but in fact they're actually one of the smartest animals around in regard to how they communicate as a group. Because they don't just talk amongst one another, they actually vote on things together. And it's true. After much research, Amandine Ramos from the French National Center for Scientific Research found out that European bison and possibly other bison species are able to vote amongst one another in a way that is very human-like in regard to democracy. Yep, bison are democratic, who knew? Granted, voting isn't done for everything, which makes them even more human-like but rather for cases of things like getting food. If it's time to eat, the bison will come together, then do slight motions of their body to show where they individually want to go. Slowly, the other bison will point to the one who's aiming towards the direction they think is best. And sometimes votes don't go unanimously. So majority groups are made, but eventually they do come together and finish the vote so a decision can be made. It's a very odd thing to see animals do, but it apparently works for them and that's what's important. And the group survives as a result. 
And with this kind of advanced social structure, many people have also noticed that they've seen bison grieve over a lost member of their herd, and that's just like elephants. Well, thanks for watching. What did you think of these unique communication methods? Which one was the weirdest for you? Do you know any other creatures with a weird call? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Worldlist.